A fire damaged a Largo couple's home, but they blame the skyrocketing insurance rates for their losses. Like many retirees, the couple could not afford to pay the high insurance premiums on their mobile home. Last night, a fire broke out at their place in the Shady Lane Village in Largo, just off Roosevelt Boulevard. News Channel 8's Yolanda Fernandez explains why their choice to go without coverage turned out to be a costly one. The temperature dropped and Tony and Lois Sabia decided to try out the fireplace in the Largo mobile home they moved into this summer. And we lit the paper log and the paper log burned and a neighbor called the fire department because there was a fire on the roof. The flames shot through the roof leaving a gaping hole and extensive damage to the living room and bathroom. The Sabias have no insurance. The insurance quotes were twenty-two to twenty-five hundred dollars a year to insure their seven thousand dollar mobile home. We went to see if we can get some insurance and they told us the, the astronomical prices and we just couldn't afford it. So we figured we'd take a chance. The Sabias aren't alone in their insurance woes. Some of their neighbors here at the mobile home park have told me that their insurance carriers have either dropped them in the past year or coverage simply isn't affordable anymore. Goodbye. Neighbor Betty Shea says her insurance tripled the past three years. Oh it's especially hard for seniors on fixed incomes. You have no choice. Either that, you have to sell and get out. Or take your chances like they did and uh, then lose what they have. For the Sabias, the fire comes as Lois just finished 14 months of cancer treatment. Medical bills have left them no extra money for repairs. We just don't have any money right now. We're going to try and skimp along as much as we can. Uh, that's the only thing we can do. But Lois says she's still looking forward to Thanksgiving. We got out in time. You just thank God, I think. Because we came into this earth with nothing, and he takes us out with nothing. In Largo, Yolanda Fernandez, News Channel 8. The Sabias plan to stay with relatives until they can pay for those repairs.